guys, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Bella. I just completed my Disney College program for spring of 2022. I am so excited to be back with you guys answering some questions that I got from the end of my program. If you don't know what the Disney College program is, it is a college internship where you get to live and work at Disney. So I will be answering some of those questions that you guys have sent in to me on Instagram. And let me know if there's any that I missed in the comments. I am more than happy to answer any other ones you guys have. Obviously, I am not speaking for the Walt Disney Company. These are all my own opinions, experiences, beliefs, and not everyone's experience is the same on this program. So this is just what I experienced and my thoughts about the program. So obviously, everyone's going to have a different point of view. I documented most of my journey on my Instagram. It's Storybook Bella on Instagram that has a lot of my fun adventures from my program and the rest of my videos on this channel but here's some dying questions that you guys have had so i did finish my program at the end of july of 2022 so i'm back at the university of florida i'm a junior so i did want to finish up school people's biggest question has been am i staying or what's happening um so i did decide to go back to school it is something that i talked a lot with my family and my leaders and it was a really hard decision for me. I absolutely loved my program. Like it was more than anything I could have ever imagined. Um, so there was nothing, like nothing bad in my program that made me not wanna stay. But I did just wanna get my degree done and I worked really, really hard to get into this school and in all my classes so far. So I did wanna finish out strong and get my degree first before I full-time move to Orlando. So I'm in Gainesville right now and I will definitely be back in Orlando as soon as I can after I graduate, hopefully getting my master's. Um, so that's the plan right now. Ended my program on a great note. Like it, seriously, I know this is gonna sound like I'm making this up or trying to like romanticize it, but it was the best time of my life. I loved my program. I got really, really lucky with everything that I happened on my program, my location, my friends, just everything was more than I could have ever expected it to be. Let's start off with some fun questions about work. Um, so a question I got a lot was what was my favorite resort costume? And this is a hard one because I worked at all of the deluxe resorts in the concierge lounge. That was my role in the program. I was resort hospitality. Um, so I had a lot of really fun costumes and my home resort was the contemporary, but I picked up everywhere else and traded shifts to try new places. And I'd say my favorite costumes were probably Coronado Springs. I also loved the boardwalk. It's such like a cheesy costume, but it's like so classic Disney, which is why I love it. Like I show it to people not at Disney and they're kind of like, what is that? Like that looks horrible. I absolutely loved that one. And Polynesian was fun because it was just like a typical like Polynesian costume and it made me feel like part of it. And another question about the resorts was my favorite one to pick up at. And my favorite one was definitely the boardwalk um, besides my home resort. Um, I met some great people over at Boardwalk and I just always had really good experiences with the guests there. I picked up a lot of shifts there and worked there quite a bit. But my home resort contemporary always has a special place in my heart and you know that's my home. <laughs> Another question was if I've worked at the parks and yes, I did work all four parks. Um, I think I finished that by like May maybe. Um, I worked at all four parks, that was a goal of mine from the beginning. So I finished that. My last park was Animal Kingdom, which I worked in May. Um, I got to work Hollywood Studios a couple times, Magic Kingdom a couple times, I think Epcot twice, and then I worked at Animal Kingdom once. And I loved working in the parks, it was so much fun. And every shift I had was always like a good time and a good experience. And it was definitely different from being over at the resorts, but I loved both in different ways. Someone asked me if it's hard to get used to the program and your schedule, and it does take a little bit of adjusting, but once you get kind of in the swing of it, you're, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> I did not take any classes on my program. That was a question someone asked. Um, I did take one summer class actually, uh, just so I could get it out of the way. I took it online through my school, so that was just like one easy class. Um, I know some people took like one or two courses, but most of the people I knew didn't take any classes just because we're working a lot and then you can enjoy the full experience and not have to worry about like running home to do your homework. Like you can just stay at Magic Kingdom and enjoy those late nights without having to stress about school also. I got a lot of questions about living at Flamingo and how I enjoyed it. And this is a very controversial topic, but I absolutely loved it. Like I miss Flamingo already. And I think just the environment of being there with all CPs, like you're just surrounded 
by other Disney employees and other people that are similar to you. And living at Flamingo was so nice and convenient because I didn't bring a car so I could take the bus pretty much everywhere I wanted to go on property and just any time of day and not have to worry about gas or parking or anything like that. And then just being around my friends all the time and having them 30 second walk from my door. It's irreplaceable. Like it was such a great experience and I loved living there. It was just like so fun and nice. I didn't have any complaints, I don't think. Um, I like seriously can't think of anything that bothered me. And again, this is just my experience. I did live in a four by two, so I didn't have to share a bedroom, which was really nice. So I think that also probably added to it. Um, but you can rank your housing choices when you get your application. You can kind of rank your like what order you would want them in. And that's not guaranteed, but I did get my first choice of a four by two, which helped a lot. I got a lot of questions about a typical day in my life. It's hard because there wasn't like one specific kind of typical day I had. It was always different because my schedule was different. Other people's schedules were different and like my energy levels were always different. So that kind of influenced like what I was doing before work, if I was doing stuff right after work or just going straight to bed. But I'd say a typical day, my usual shift, like the shift that I probably had the most on my program was 2 to 10 30 p.m. So depending on how I was feeling, I sometimes would go to the parks before work. Sometimes I'd sleep in till 1 p.m. and then jump on the bus. Um, sometimes I would hang out with friends after work. There was a couple occasions where Magic Kingdom was open late. And since I was at the Contemporary, it's a five minute walk. So I threw on normal people clothes right after my shift and ran over to Magic Kingdom. I really, really love like late nights at Magic Kingdom. I think they're just so much fun and a lot of the crowds are gone and the heat. So I really enjoyed that. And that was something I did a lot in my program. Honestly, a typical day off was just going to work and then kind of going with the flow, seeing what other people were doing or just hanging up by myself, watching a movie, going to the parks by myself. There's really no like set specific kind of day. I did not choose to extend my program or transfer into part-time or full-time uh, because I was coming back to school and this was nothing bad with Disney. I would give everything to have stayed, but honestly, I knew that I would regret not coming back to school and because I love school and I love being here. Um, so I wanted to finish this out and Disney is always going to be there. So I knew that I could go back to Disney and I couldn't necessarily come back to school later and have like the exact same experience um, with all the people that I love here. So I am very proud of myself that I didn't take the temptation to just straight off live in Orlando. It was really hard, but that was my decision. I'd say the thing that I miss the most about my program is just being surrounded by Disney. Um, it's weird now being back at school and not just being around other people who love Disney and like want to go to Disney and talk about Disney. So I definitely miss like being in that environment of magic and that sounds so cheesy. I just realized how cheesy that sounds, but I'm serious. Like I'm very like a romanticize your life kind of person. So I kind of like see like magic and everything and being at Disney just enhanced that. And I felt less kind of like embarrassed to like embrace that magic. Um, whenever it was around me at Disney, there were so many moments that just are seriously just pure magic and love and joy in my heart there. So I definitely miss just being in the environment of Disney and being able to just pop into the parks whenever. My dream job, this is hard, but I am a tourism, hospitality, and event management major. So I would love to go into something with event managing for Disney or event planning, wedding planning, something with that with Disney. I don't have a specific exact job in mind, but something in that kind of like niche experience of like guest service, hospitality, events, something with that. Another topic that I got a lot of questions about was the Disney classes. So the Disney college program offers classes which aren't like school classes but they're either like seminars or courses that you can take to kind of enhance your leadership skills or different skills within the company or get to network with people. So there's a lot of different types of little seminars and classes and things you can go to. So we have a site called dorms which is where you sign up for your housing and like manage all of that stuff um, and on there you can sign up for events that are usually held at flamingo crossings they also do off-site events but i did a lot of like the classes and spotlight on they were called so they would spotlight different roles within the company and have leaders or people who have 
have experience in that role come and talk to us and do kind of a panel and explain their history with the company. So that was something that I found really valuable. I absolutely loved going to those classes. And I also did the Leadership 101 um, class to earn my master's degree. So that was amazing. I did make a video about that. I absolutely loved that experience and it was so valuable. I cannot wait to use it in my future career. And I'm so glad that I ended up taking the time to take that class. I had a question about things that people don't think to pack for the DCP, and if you're not from Florida, I would recommend bringing a raincoat if you don't have one. I know that kind of sounds silly, but a lot of people didn't have them, and bringing an umbrella around is kind of a hassle a lot of the time. Also, I love Crocs for the parks because it'll just start randomly raining, and you don't have to worry about your shoes getting all wet, and... I, I love the Crocs for the park, so if you don't have some Crocs, I would suggest investing in them. Just a recommendation. I think another good thing to bring or buy is a lunchbox that you can bring to work. Most I think pretty much every work location has somewhere that you can store lunch in the fridge if you bring it or just like put it in a locker. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. A nice bag to bring to work, like a small backpack or something like that, um, like a tote bag. Another application question was if there's any tips for spring applications, which they're currently open right now. By the time I post this video, they might not be, but spring applications are currently open, which is very, very exciting. I actually got the chance to talk on a Disney College program panel at my school last week, which was really, really cool. They did a webinar from Disney where it's like info about the program that anyone can join. So they presented that. And then for the next 30 minutes, they did a panel and all the students were able to ask the alumni any questions they had about the program. So that was a really cool experience. I got to share a lot of my tips and just info about the program to other students at my school. Um, I was asked to come there by the Career Center, which was really cool and exciting. And I loved getting to reminisce and talk about Disney because, you know, that's like my favorite thing. But specific application tips, I would say make sure you're double checking everything. And I know that sounds stupid, but just make sure there's not any mistakes and that you're for sure on your arrival and departure date that you can make those days because it's a lot of times difficult to change them afterwards. So just double check all of your info, make sure it's all good. And then once you get to the actual interviewing stage, I would say just be consistent with your answers. Really trust your gut because the questions are very quick and you kind of just have to make an instant decision. So really make sure you're reading the question, maybe um, read it out loud to yourself. If you're able to do that in a room alone, read the question out loud to yourself so you can make sure that you're understanding it fully because a lot of times they'll do questions where it says like, not this, or just make sure you're not misinterpreting the questions. Um, just be confident in your answers. Try not to be too neutral on your answers because that doesn't show a lot of initiative or opinions at all, which kind of doesn't let them know anything about you. So you might be a great person, but if you're kind of neutral on everything, they can't really tell what your stance is. So let them get to know you, show your opinions and your beliefs and your values when it comes to work and be yourself. I mean, that sounds so, so cheesy and I know it is, but that will genuinely get you into this program. And if you don't make it in the first time, try again because it is amazing and you will not regret it. Someone asked if it, park reservations make it difficult for us to go to the parks regularly. I didn't really have an issue with it. I know a lot of people did. Um, a lot of times I could get reservations day of if I wasn't able to get one in advance, but I tried to make them in advance if I knew I had a day off or once I got my schedule, I would try to make reservations. I didn't have too much of an issue with it. Anytime I wanted to go to the parks, I could pretty much get in. Um, so I was completely fine with it. We also didn't have many blockout dates on my program. So I know for the fall, a lot of times they'll have blockout dates around more of the holidays. Spring, summer, there's not as many. Um, so we had very, very few blockout dates and most of the time we could go to a different park so I would just go to that park if I had a day off but yeah I was able to go to the parks pretty much anytime I wanted um I never had an issue with needing to go to the parks on a day off and not being able to get in that being said as long as you make the reservation you should be fine don't just always show up and ask guest services because they have so many other things to deal with and we don't want to make their job any harder um, so we can easily just go in and make a reservation one more silly question was, what songs have I gotten on Guardians so far? So for those of you that don't know, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind opened on my program and it is amazing. Like it is my favorite ride and we got to do cast previews so many times, which was absolutely amazing. I love it so much. Um, so there's six different songs that you can get on the ride that play in the background. So I have gotten, I think every song except Everybody Wants to Rule the World, and that is the one that I want really, really bad. I'm heading back to Disney this weekend just for a day or two, 
and I hope that I get that song because that is the last one I have not gotten. I've gotten one way or another like more times than I can count. Um, so same with September and I love both of those, but I wanna get Everybody Wants to Rule the World. And there's the holiday overlay coming soon with Christmas songs. Actually, one more last silly question because they're fun. Um, if I could make a ride at Walt Disney World, someone asked, what movie or show would it be based on? And details. So I think I would probably make a Hercules ride. Um, I love Hercules. It is one of my favorite Disney movies ever. And I think I would do something almost kind of like Flight of Passage, um, like riding on Pegasus's back or something like that. I don't know. I think it would be really cool to have something with Hercules in the parks because I absolutely love Hercules and Pegasus and Meg. And the final question that I'm going to be answering today is what is something I wish I knew going into the program? And I wish I knew how fast it was going to go by. Like in the beginning, it felt like we'd been there for so long and it had only been a week or two. And then now all of a sudden I'm sitting here and I'm an alumni of the program and it flew by. Like it was basically like a fever dream. It doesn't feel real when I look back. I'm like, how is that real life? That was the best experience of my life. So don't take your time for granted. Say yes to things and you're going to be tired. So know that but you're also going to love every second. So give it your all and what you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it. Your job, everything, everyone you meet, all your experiences are up to you. So it's up to you to decide how your program goes. And that is all for today. I know there was some more questions that I didn't answer. I just didn't wanna keep this too long, but if there's any that I miss, shoot them down in the comments or let me know and I can make another Q&A video. I know I've made a couple of these, so you can check those out on my channel if there's anything else I didn't answer. But it was so great talking to you guys. I miss you all and I miss Disney and I will be back soon. So stay tuned for more videos and I love you guys. Bye.